This is Channel 13 Eyewitness News at noon. Good afternoon. Our top story today, Indianapolis Metro Police now investigating the treatment of a man after being arrested following a police pursuit. It involves a controversial kick by a police officer after the suspect was placed in handcuffs. That chase and arrest all caught today by Chopper 13 and seen only on Eyewitness News Sunrise. Our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson is following this police investigation. What have you learned, Steve? Well, Scott, the police caught up with this suspect after he fled in a van and then on foot. The police say a witness pointed out Felipe Alvarado as a theft suspect near Mid Hopper and East 21st Street this morning. Alvarado reportedly took off in that van sparking the police chase. He eventually drove into a field, spun around, jumped out of the van, and ran across a set of railroad tracks. An officer tased him, then two officers kicked him four times before placing him in handcuffs. Then, after Alvarado was handcuffed, face down on the ground, a third officer kicked him in the back of the head. Here's what that officer told his supervisors about that kick. Well, after he's handcuffed, uh, one of the officers does use his foot to push down the, the suspect's head. Um, why? You know, that has to be reviewed. That is something that will be reviewed. Uh, the officer apparently uh, stated the guy was starting to spit blood towards one of the officers. He's, he was only pushing the head. The guy, he stated he's only pushing the head so that he wouldn't, you know, have that possibility of, of body fluid exchanges. And, you know, after that, the guy turned his head away. This incident comes as Metro Police Chief Michael Spears oversees an investigation into a 2007 Black Expo incident caught on tape. Police themselves videotaped Officer Adam Chappell kicking 17-year-old Brian Jeter during an arrest. Chappell's attorney struck a deal with prosecutors to avoid conviction, but Spears launched his investigation after meeting with Jeter's family. They claimed even more abuse was caught on tape that night involving Jeter's brother. Sergeant Matt Mount says the review board will investigate the officer's use of and level of force during this morning's arrest. We'll have more on the investigation starting at 5 o'clock today. Scott? Steve, we'll see you at 5. Thank you.